Hey, welcome back, Ben again. Today we're taking a quick look at how we can transfer files remotely between our computer in Raspberry Pi and in reverse. If you haven't watched my previous video about how to set up a Raspberry Pi remotely, I recommend checking that out as we're going to use one of the tools we did in that video, and it's also the easiest way. But otherwise, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first and easiest method that we're going to do is using VNC. So if your Raspberry Pi isn't already set up to be used remotely, I would definitely recommend checking out my previous video where you looked how to set that up. As the easiest way in the graphical way is that we can use uh, VNC. So I'm just gonna log into a Raspberry Pi I already have open. It's on the desk next to me. So here we just have some files just in desktop and I have some things that we want to transfer. So to transfer from the Raspberry Pi, Either way, it's gonna be very easy. So we're gonna click the VNC button up here and we're gonna use the little drop down here and we're gonna do file transfer. So here you're gonna choose the files from your Raspberry Pi to send to your local computer. So we're gonna do send files and we can choose what we're gonna send. So right now it's kind of a side scrolling menu and we're gonna go into desktop and I want to do something to transfer, that TXT. <laughs> We do that and all right we transferred it and and now if we go to my desktop we actually see that it showed up right here and it's empty <laughs> i don't have anything into it but that's all we have to do it's as simple as that so that's from raspberry pi to our desktop if we want to go the other way it's also very easy to do it at the top of the vnc window there's this little drop down that shows up like here and we're gonna do transfer files and we can see that this is the file that came through. We're gonna clear that, but now this is a window on the PC side. So we're gonna send files, and you can see now that this is on uh, Windows or Windows 10, sorry, on my computer. So we're gonna go to libraries, documents, and I have a folder I already set up. So we're gonna do test folder, and you can send whole folders, by the way. There's actually a button right here, use entire folder, or you can open one here. But we're just going to do something and we're going to click this file that's conveniently named send this to my p to my pi with vnc so we're going to click open and look it's already gone through so file transfer complete we're going to close this and so now this window has popped up on the pi and it says download complete so we're going to clear actually just going to close that and here it is because i just had it go to the desktop and this is the desktop folder and the file is right here cool I'm just gonna delete that before we forget. All right, so that's the easy graphical way to do it. But for example, let's say we don't have VNC running or we can't use it. So the other way we're gonna do it is through the command prompt with SCP, which stands for Secure Copy Protocol. So all we need to do is open up a command prompt window on our PC. You can also do this in the reverse of how we're about to show everything from the Pi to the PC, but we can do it both ways also from our PC. You'll see what that means in a second. So we wanna send some files. Let's pick a file. So I have the same folder here, this, uh, the, this PC documents test folder. So under users ben documents test folder. So let's just send, let's send photo.jpg, which is this beautiful picture right here, <laughs> which is also from my last live stream. Go check that out. So we wanna send photo.jpg. So what we're going to do is that we're going to say SCP for secure copy protocol. And we're going to say where the file is located on our local machine. So that's going to be users, oops, be lowercase users, then documents, if I can spell documents slash test folder. And it was called photo.jpg. Or was it PNG? I don't remember. Uh, .jpg. Okay. Photo.jpg. Okay, so this is the location on our local PC. So now we need to say where we're sending it to and where on that system we're sending it to. So to do that, we have to provide the login information for the Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna say Pi, or technically the username that you have. So you're gonna say the username on your Pi, at, and then the host name. Now the host name can either be the, uh, the actual host name that you set, or it can be the IP address. So for example, your host name 
is what you see when you open a command prompt on your Pi. So if you see Pi at Raspberry Pi. So for me, the host name is Raspberry Pi. So we can use that. But if you don't want to use that, you can just use the IP address for the Pi. But this is a little bit easier. So we're just going to say Raspberry Pi. And we do colon. And then we're going to start giving it where we want to put it. So I just want to put it in that same location on the desktop. So we're going to say home slash Pi slash desktop. And that's all it is to it. We're going to hit enter. And if you haven't connected before, there'll be a little message about like warning, we have not connected to this key before. Do you want to continue? And you can just say yes. You're going to type out the word yes, hit enter, and then it's going to ask you for the password. So I'm going to put it in and you're not going to be able to see it because uh, that's how the command prompt works. But you can hit enter after you've done that. And there you go. We can see we transferred the file. So we have photo.jpg and it transferred so let's go find it on the pi and there we go now it's on our raspberry pi awesome so now what if we want to transfer a whole folder so we saw how to do that uh using vnc but if you want to use scp it's a little different only a little tiny bit so instead of just saying photo.jpg let's say we want to send this whole folder so under my documents, test folder. We want to send test folder. So to do that, all we have to do is get rid of the photo.jpg at the end. And the one other thing we have to add, so at the beginning of this command, we're going to say scp-r, which stands for recursive, which means it's going to send everything in that folder, including the folder. So we're going to hit enter. I'm going to give it the password again. And there you can see it's going to actually list out everything that was in that folder. And you can see it's transferred. Most of these are zero because they're just empty. So you can see the photo is the only one that has data. But normally you would see data and the transfer speed. So don't worry about that. And there we can go now on the desktop. We have test folder and we have all those files. Easy as that. So one last thing. We're going to see how to transfer from the Pi to this computer using the command prompt so in reverse so let's send this test folder back why don't we or actually let's send something simpler we're just going to send the photo back you could do the same thing with the folder though just again dash r so what actually i'm going to do just so you can see it happen we're going to delete photo.jpg here just so we know that it actually showed back up so we want to get photo.jpg from the Pi onto your computer. So all we have to do is the same command, but in reverse. So this time we're gonna start with Pi at Raspberry Pi. So you start with the source, that's how this works. It's source, so you can see from the earlier run, it's the source location and the remote location. So now we just gotta flip flop it. So now we're gonna say our source is Pi at Raspberry Pi, colon slash home, my cursor out of the way slash pi slash desktop slash is in the test folder actually don't even remember where we put it nope just in desktop okay whoops helps to remember these things so just in desktop photo dot jpeg so this is where that photo is located on our pi and now we just want to put it on our local computer so let's say c users oops then now let's put it where do we want to put this let's put it back in our test folder since we deleted it let's get it back so we're going to say slash ben slash documents slash test folder and that's all we need to say put my password in all right now we've copied it over and there it is it's come back to us <laughs> we deleted our file and it has come back so that's all you have to do to do it in reverse. And of course, there's lots of other things you can use with SCP. And if you want to transfer a folder remotely, again, just have it with the Pi as your source first. So you say SCP-R, your Pi, the location, and then where you want to put it on your computer. But that's all it is to it. And I hope this helped you out. As I know, I definitely wanted to do this when I first started. So... If you have any ideas or questions about other videos about Raspberry Pis or anything else in general, be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you can leave a like, that would help me out a ton. But otherwise, I hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.